The world is, in many ways, organized in a nested system. And so we have nations. Within those, we have industries. Within industries, we have corporations. Within those, we have business units. Within those, we have, we have teams. Within the teams, we have people. And within our people, we have brains. And uh, we're nested. It turns out that as I have, and my colleagues have tried to understand how business works, we've developed a set of theories. And when I say a theory, what I mean is a statement of causality, an understanding of what causes what and why. And some of you know some of the theories. Disruption is a theory. And what it asserts is that the mechanism that causes successful companies to fall is not that they're not at their work, but rather somebody comes in at the bottom of the market and moves up. And it's, that's the mechanism, the pursuit of profit from at the bottom of the market that makes success so hard to sustain. There's another theory called the, um, the theory of the preservation of modularity. And the, the theory of the uh, preservation of modularity explains, among other things, why the euro doesn't work and why um, SAP implementation systems uh, are so uh, difficult and um, complicated. And there's another theory called um, jobs to be done. And what it asserts is that, you know, here's clay. I have characteristics. I unfortunately am 60 years old now. I live in the suburbs. Three, uh, five children un unfortunately have all left and are living independently and uh, life has become boring. <laughs> but the fact that I have those characteristics doesn't cause me to go out and buy the New York Times. There might be a correlation between my characteristics and the propensity to buy the New York Times, but the characteristics don't cause me to do anything. What causes us to do something is there's a job that arises in our life, and we have to get the job done. And what causes us to buy a product or a service is we have to reach out and find something that can do the job and pull it into our lives. And that's the causal mechanism behind a purchase, is understanding what's, what's the job. And the insight there is that the customer is the wrong unit of analysis. It's the job that we need to understand. So these are all theories, and some of you know those and, and a number of others from our research. What we have learned, and inadvertently in many ways, is that these statements of causality apply at every stage in this nested system. And so the theories help us understand why nations um, lose their competitiveness, why Japan was so successful and then died, for example, and why America finds it so hard to re regain our momentum. And that goes all the way down to the point of teams.